YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DV Kicks. We are back with another video. This is the last sneaker review of the year. So if you guys are new here to the channel, you guys like some of the stuff you see, go ahead. Let's, let's go on to 2021, man, with some, you know, new content creators, you know, small creators like me. But um, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. If you do so, please hit that notification bell so you know we drop some heat, some bangers, because I got some heat today, in my opinion. And I just want to get straight into it. Let's go. You do get a classic New Balance all gray box. No color or anything like that. Size 8. And here it is. The New Balance 992. I'm calling these the mustard joints. I showed these in my final 2020 pickup video. Um, but I didn't get a chance to review this, so we're doing this now. We're doing it now. All right, now these do retail for $175. You can find these maybe at Full Locker. That's where I found mine, and possibly just other random places. They are general, they are general releases, but they have been flying all year, which is what took me a you know a little minute to get a pair. But uh, let's go over the you know materials, quality, the fit, all that stuff, man, real quick. I'm not a New Balance expert, so this will be fairly a fairly quick review. Starting off on your lateral side, you guys see the entire shoe is just an all like mustard yellow, like a golden yellow, very nice. Do have the New Balance logo on the side? It's kind of flashing in the camera because it is 3M reflective, and you have like overlays of a New Buck yellow mesh. So this gray material is actually New Buck. You guys see like how buttery that suede is this is like the definition of good quality real materials and stuff like that yellow eyelets at the top and right below that you do have more of that gray as well when you get to the midsole you do have a white midsole mixed in with like this tan color um you got like plastic hits on the side or rubber hits on the side what does that say so yeah it's absorbed so i guess it's mixed in with something like the absorb cushioning or whatever so when you get to the toe box you do have a mesh toe box as well mixed in with more of the gray new buck going up the tongue you do have white laces so these actually do come unlaced like this and when you go up the tongue it is all mesh gray new buck and it says 992 right there on the top of the tongue medial side of the shoe sorry about that you do got a new balance tag and that medial side of the shoe is identical to the lateral side of the shoe you have like the all white midsole mixed in with like this tan is gray color. When you get to the heel, you have a plastic hit right here. And that plastic hit actually says New Balance on it. And USA, you guys know a lot of New Balances are made in the USA, which kind of gives it reason why the price is up there and the quality is so good. The outsole, you do have black and gray outsole. New Balance hit right here. And you do have like a multicolor USA, red, white, blue stripe. Actually, that's not a USA. That is a 992. Look at me, man, I can't read. So when you get to the insoles, let's pull them out. There's probably an ortholite insole. So it is just a New Balance classic insole. And yeah, it's just like a basic ortholite insole. Uh, not too bad, pretty comfortable. Now, in my opinion, the New Balance 992 is a, a really dope model. I've, got, I've gotten a few, I've got 997S's, I've got 574's. Um, but I really like this 992 and I have the 990 as well So this is my first one and I'm very impressed and you know, it does kind of like have that dad vibe We know that but I think when you can mix in like dope colors and stuff like that and materials It really elevates the shoe. So this 992. I mean to me in gray It just looks kind of boring like you can wear it, but it's kind of boring but when you put like a, a mustard yellow on here um, they have purple, navy blue, they've got collabs. Ronnie Fi's got one that's like blue and light blue. It's oh, dope, man, dope. But you know what? Hey, these are GRs. Easier for me to cop. In my opinion, the New Balance 992 Mustard, or the 992 in general, in my opinion, they fit true to size. I've heard, I've heard of some people, they, they feel like New Balance is kind of big and they are wide foot friendly. So I don't know if you could go a half size down. I don't want to tell you guys that. My suggestion is going to like a Foot Locker or something where I've seen these at. Even if it's not this color, 
I asked to try them on. That's what I did. That's why one is unlaced and one isn't because I wasn't sure if I needed to go down or up. But if you go true to size, I feel like you cannot go wrong. And another thing about this color, man, this is like super like fall, winter friendly. And I think you can even run this shoe into the spring if you wanted to, if you guys even care about that. I can't, I really can't wait to see what New Balance has cooking up next year. And just like the 3M reflective going on and the suede, like they just don't miss. Mine's have like a bit of an error. Somebody just noticed, so I'm not gonna say the quality is perfect. The quality is really good. But you guys can see like the suede is kind of like folded right here. See where it kind of bubbles up. And then, yeah, right there, it's kind of hard to tell. And then right here, it's completely smooth. But other than that, just looking at it, we good, bro, we Gucci. And as far as like resale pricing, I don't even know if these have like that type of thing going on. I don't think you should really, if that's your thing, I don't think you want to look into like 992s. It's kind of stupid, but um, yeah, these look sick with sweatpants, jeans. I, I can't wait to wear these, man. I just can't wait till the world just gets completely normal, bro. And we can just really just start wearing everything and just having reasons to go places. Right now, we really don't have too many reasons to go anywhere. But comment down below. What do you guys think about New Balance? Do you guys think New Balance is going to have a big year in 2021? I think they had a huge year this year, honestly. Like, they had a lot of collabs. They had the Joe Fresh Goods. Um, I think that's where things kind of kicked off with the 992 earlier this year. That one I wasn't too big on because it had, like, the pastel colors, but the midsole was black. To me, it didn't make sense. But, um, yeah, so what y'all think about New Balance in general? Y'all ain't rocking with it. Y'all Nike only. Or um, do you like this pair? Is there another GR pair that you guys like over this one? You know, chop it up. Let's chop it up in the comment section down below. Let's hit that like button, all that good stuff, man. I appreciate you guys coming through to the last sneaker review of 2020 from DB Kicks. And your boy is out. Now stay tuned for that on foot. We're going to do an on foot portion just for this shoe, right?